welcome to the Canadian Scrapbookers Technique Taster. Kim is back on the show to show us some creative ways to use your scrapbooking supplies. Kind of like thinking outside of the box. Just kind of thinking outside maybe what it shows you it should be. And making it something different. Yeah, yes. yeah, so bringing it into your own style. So you've got some interesting stuff going on in this card. Why don't you just get started and tell us what all you did there. Okay, so this card, I have used Simple Stories Summer Vibes paper. See that? Um, it's double-sided, which is really awesome, and I used one of the papers that says, hello, hello, hello. So it works well for an inside of a inside card. Of, and you know what, and we often, we forget about the inside of the card. We get carried away design on the outside, not carried away, but we use all of our creative juices on right. the outside. So it's fun we forget to kind about of the bring inside. it in, right? Um, and because it's a nice thickness, it's, it's heavy. a nice heavy card. So this is just one piece of the pattern paper. One piece of pattern paper, so it adds interest to the front and the back. Nice. Um, and the the inside is another piece from the same collection, but right. just plain so you can really write well. on it. That's one thing that's nice about uh, using an entire collection. They all Everything work so nicely together. together. Yeah. Um, and then what I've done, I've used a Creative Memories Border Punch, which comes really nicely packaged if you want to continue to add to the system. Because you've got the punch and then as you increase your collection, right. you can stack them up and store them really nicely. You know what, and this fits so nicely on your shelf. When you were explaining this to me before the show, I thought that totally makes sense. And I wonder if Creative Memories thought of that. I don't know. Because that's brilliant. I noticed it right off the bat and yeah. I loved it for that because you can add to it and store it. Because this is what you add to the collection, you buy these, right? This is the punch and we're the going punch. to use the, the polka dot border punch. Okay. Um, and just to show you, if you use it as a border, this is what you get. Okay. It's really fun. So you would just keep punching it all you along? You keep going along and punching okay. it. I've taken this paper and I've added it on top of scrapbook adhesives, adhesive sheets, so that you, they come in 12 by 12 or 6 is by 12. Is that what you've already done here? You put that yeah. already on there? Okay. It's two-sided, so you pull it back, apply your... Adhesive sheet? Paper oh, to the okay, adhesive okay, sheet. Okay, yeah, yeah, duh. And then afterwards, it becomes a sticker. Okay. So I took all of these little polka dots ah. and I added them to create the base you for the created card. stickers so there's using little your border punch. Stickers, and you right? would not think of that. No. And the nice thing is these stickers are pretty easy if you weren't using the adhesive backing. These little tiny ones are a pain. <laughs> But you tucked it through. I Look tucked at all it through, but they're <laughs> stickers now, so I'm not trying to put adhesive on them and making right. it work. Yeah, that's right. Um, so that was kind of fun. Um, and another thing I've done on here to sort of think outside of your stamps and your markers right. is journaling is really popular now, like marker journaling and lettering. lettering. Hand lettering and is really popular. You're not right. everybody loves their handwriting. I don't. So I don't. what I've I don't done here is I've used this Impression Obsession stamp, which is a sentiment yes. and has nice writing on it. Right. And then I've taken my chameleon markers and I've just traced just over top it. of it. So if you want, I'll show you yes. how I've done that. I would like to see what so you did there. So through the magic of TV. You've already stamped already it been perfectly. Stamped it's... With a nice gray. I didn't go too dark right. because you really want the chameleon markers Well, to and you kind of want to make it look like you've actually done this on your yes. own, sort of the... You're, you're teasing your audience. hand lettering. So with the chameleon pens, you get that nice graduated color from them. So you have to infuse the pen by putting the toner on top, letting it sit for a little bit. That's the beauty of these pens. They're made for color shading. They start off dark, and as you move up, they get lighter. And then all I do is I start, and don't be in a rush, and just hand lettering is supposed to be relaxing. Relaxing. When it gets too dark, then breathe infuse and again. infuse. Take your time. Breathe while you're infusing. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. And then start again. And I think the big thing to take away from this is not to go fast. You right. Know, put your little lines where they need to go, and then you can keep going on keep with going. other colors. Well, you know what, Kim? I think. What I love uh, the most that you did here is, is that you really showed to think about your products differently and 
purchasing products sometimes, if you only look at it one way, it, it could be expensive. Yeah, and it could be expensive, but if you find a bunch of different ways to use your stuff, then all of a sudden you're stretching your money a little bit exactly. further. Exactly. Unless you're a diehard shopper like I am, and you just want to keep buying the stuff. Well, don't, don't think that this limits me from buying. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks Kim. For me. That was wonderful.